Hey everyone, welcome back to a new Pilates workout. I'm gonna guide you through a full body flow today. I have some light ankle weights and then also some light hand weights, but feel free to use anything you have at home. So let's hop right into it. I'm gonna start off with to a wide stand, come into a deep squat, a little pulse, and then press back up. Every time we're coming up, I want you to squeeze those glutes. Squeeze and lower down. Great job, we're just warming up that lower body here. Inhale and exhale out. Four, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Tiny little pulses right here. That booty is nice and low. Squeeze through that glute, press through those heels. There we go. Four, ten, nine, eight, seven. Six, five, four, three, two, and one, and press back up. Okay, I want you to grab your hand weights right here. I'm gonna start on the front of the mat. Arms are nice behind your shoulders, roll the shoulder blades back. Reach those arms up to the ceiling, coming into a lunge position, and then twisting that upper body and reach the arms back up, and bring the arms in. There we go, so we're stepping back with that right leg, Twist that upper body, reach those arms long and come back to the middle and press back up. There we go. Four, six. Five. If the twist is too challenging, just meet me right here and come back to a standing position. Otherwise, keep going. You really want to twist and use that core. Reach those arms long. Two, and one. Reach the arms in, tiny little pulses right here. Press through that left glute for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Extend that right leg long, extend those arms long. We're bringing the arms and knee in and slowly reach out. Arms and knee come in and reach out for eight. Seven. Six. Keep breathing. Five. Four. Three. Two, and one. Bring the arms in, shift all that way to that left leg. We're lifting that right leg up and slowly lower down. Point that toe. Every time we're coming up, we're squeezing that glute. Lengthen that leg as long as possible. There we go. Four, six, five, four, three, two, and one, hold it here, tiny little pulses up and down. It is a tiny little movement right here. When you just squeeze all those little muscles, that neck is long, shoulders are low. Four, six, five, four, three, two, and one, slowly step back in. I'm going to shift to the other side. Same thing, roll those shoulder blades back, bring those arms in. This time we're stepping back with that left leg, reach those arms long, and again, we're twisting that upper body and bring the arms in. Lunge, twist, come back in, and step back in. We're really working those long arm muscles right here, twisting through that core, working that full body, there we go, four, Three, two, and one. Bring the arms in, tiny little pulses for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. 
stretch that left leg long, reach those arms in. We're slowly bringing that knee towards the arms and feel that extension out. Lengthen through that spine, eyes are in front of you. Reach long and come back in. We're really lengthening and strengthening that core right here. Four, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring the arms in, shift all that weight to that front leg. Tiny little pulses up for 10, nine. Strong leg lifts right here. Point that toe, squeeze every time that booty comes up. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold it here. Tiny little pulses up and down for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And slowly step it in. Great job. Replacing those weights onto the ground. Come to the back of the mat. We're reaching those arms long to the ceiling and then slowly lower down that whole upper body. We're gonna walk it out to a plank position. And then on a the count of three, we're slowly getting in a slow push up onto our belly button. So three, two, and one. Great job. Tuck those toes and slowly walk back up. Bend the knees, reach those arms long to the ceiling. And we're going to repeat this three more times. Upper body lowers down, walk it out to a plank position, come onto your knees, and then in three, two, one, we're lowering down. Tuck the toes, press yourself back up. Two more times, bend the knees, slowly roll up. Getting that whole flow, getting this whole body moving. Lower down that upper body, walk it out into that plank position, lengthen through that spine, come onto our knees. And then in three, two, one, slowly lower down. Tuck the toes and press yourself back up. One more time, bend the knees, roll up bone by bone. Reach those arms up to the ceiling. Slowly lower down. Walk it out. Find that plank position. Bend the knees. And then in three, two, and one. Great job. We're going to extend those arms long. The feet come a little bit wider. Take a deep inhale. On the exhale, we're lifting the right leg up and the left leg up. So opposite arm, opposite leg. And shift to the other side. Squeezing that glute, squeezing that back for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Take a deep inhale through the nose and exhale. Arms and legs come off the ground, tiny little scissors right here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly lower down. We're bringing the heels together and those knees are apart into our little frog. Your head can rest in front of you. Lift those knees a couple inches off to the ground and slowly lower down. So over here, we're really getting into that glute and lower down for 10, nine, eight, seven, keep breathing, six, five, four, three, two, and one, hold the squeeze here, hold for 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. And slowly lower down, great job. Pressing yourselves back up, meet me into a nice deep child's pose right here. Inhale through the nose. And exhale through the mouth. 
slowly roll up to your all fours. Great job. Grab one of your weights or if you want to modify, just leave the weight out and do this without. Shift all your weight to the right side. On the exhale, we're reaching that right arm and that left leg long and slowly bring it in. So opposite arm, opposite leg. Reach out, we're working that full body here, that core is balancing right here, we're stretching it out for those long and lean muscles for six, five, four, three, two, keep breathing, and one, bring that arm in, that leg stays long, we're just extending that tricep and bring it back in for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Great job, slowly lower it down. We're gonna bring those elbows onto the ground. We're just gonna lift that left leg up and down. This is quite a big range of motion here. We're squeezing up and down for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold it here, tiny little circles. This is an orange shape, so keep it small and controlled. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and reverse, or favorite word in Pilates, our final one right here, four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring the knee in and meet me into a nice deep child's pose. Inhale through the nose, and exhale through the mouth. Slowly meet me onto your hands and knees. We're reaching that right arm up to the ceiling, opening up that chest. And on the exhale, we're slowly rotating it underneath and reaching that left arm long. Feel that nice twist into that upper body. And switch to the other side. We're reaching that left arm up to the ceiling, open up that chest, inhale, and on the exhale, we're slowly treading it underneath, reaching that right arm long. Couple deep breaths, inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. And slowly meet me onto your all fours. Grab that weight if you want to modify, you can also do this without the weight. We're shifting all that weight into the left side of the body. Inhale, the, hover that knee off the ground. On the exhale, we're reaching that right leg and that left arm long. So opposite arm, opposite leg. Slowly bring it in and extending it long. Four, eight. Seven, a full body exercise right here. That core is working, those legs are working. Four, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold it here, bring that arm in. We're gonna extend that left arm long and bring it in. So we're fine really working those triceps right here, extending all the way. That right leg is nice and lifted. Really squeeze it through. Four, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly lower down, bring that weight onto the ground. Come onto your elbows. We're gonna lift that right leg up and down. Quite a big range of motion right here. Every time that leg comes up, we're squeezing that glute. Four, eight, seven, keep breathing. Your neck and shoulders are relaxed. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold it here, tiny little circles inwards. Really focus on that inner tie right here. Keep that toe pointed. Your upper body is nice and relaxed. All that weight is into that lower body. Four, four, three, two, and one, and reverse for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two,
two and one and bring it in meet me into a nice deep child's pose inhale through the nose exhale through the mouth great job one more deep breath inhale through the nose exhale out and slowly roll back up and roll the shoulder blades back okay you're gonna meet me onto your back getting into a little bit of core work right here those arms come behind the neck elbows are nice and wide take a deep inhale on the exhale we're reaching that right armpit to that left knee and slowly lowering down we're staying on one side right here and i want you to really focus on twisting that whole upper body so we're not just reaching that right arm or right elbow to that knee really feel that twist four eight seven you can always modify and take off your ankle weights four three two and one slowly lower down and switch to the other side inhale to prepare on the exhale we're reaching that left armpit to the right knee twisting that whole upper body four eight seven six five four three two and one and slowly lower down bring that right leg into tabletop bring that left leg into tabletop reach those arms up to the ceiling palms are facing each other press that back into the ground that rib cage is nice and tight right here. Inhale to prepare, exhale, head, neck, or shoulders come off to the ground. I want you to reach that opposite arm and opposite leg long and come back to the middle and then switch. To modify, you can also leave that head onto the ground and get into our dead box right here. Keep breathing. Four, eight, seven, six, Press that back into the ground, all core work right here. Four, three, two, and one. Bring it in, bring the hands behind the neck, elbows are nice and wide. Take a deep in on through the nose, on the exhale, head, neck or shoulders come off to the ground, press that back into the ground, really engage that core right here. Tiny little crunches, there we go, four, ten, nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. We're gonna in, get into our slow bicycles right here. So we're alternating from side to side, slow and controlled for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, build up the pace for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and slowly lower down. Great job, we're reaching those arms long to the side, bring that left knee in towards the chest, let it fall over to the right, look over to the left, and feel this nice deep stretch. Inhale through the nose, Exhale through the mouth. And switch to the other side. Bring that right knee in towards your chest. Let it fall over to the left. Look over to the right and feel this nice deep stretch here. Inhale. And exhale out. And slowly bring those knees in and roll yourself back up right here. Meet me into a seated position onto the floor. Roll the shoulder blades back. Feel your whole body relaxing right here. I want you to reach those arms up to the ceiling. Close your eyes, hands in front. Take one more deep inhale through the nose. And exhale all that energy out. We are all done for today. I hope you enjoyed today's workouts. You can find more of my workouts on Soulsing Body with guided workout plans, express workouts, everything you need. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and of course leave me a comment down below because all your support is always so appreciated.